Hello, people. Well, this is gonna suck. I absolutely hate the fact that they are removing Article 5 from the game. I mean, this is one of the... I had, when the game came out, and I was a star player for Rainbow Six Siege back in 2015, I held every hope that there would be a single-player campaign for the game. And before I even ventured into the multiplayer, I had played the beta and everything like that, but before I ventured into the multiplayer, I played the situations, because I felt like, yeah, some practice makes it perfect, and to be fair, one of the things that actually made a lot of sense was Article 5, which was a very fun experience. It differed a bit from Terrorist Hunt thanks to the gas being everywhere and there was even a story with Andrew LaBasset talking over it and it was, it was fun. It still is. I haven't touched it in years. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just admit that straight away that I haven't actually touched this game mode in years. And the fact that it's being, uh, the fact that it's being moved is probably the main reason I'm playing it now. Oh fuck, they're firing at me. Letting the diffuser now. It's interesting to see that you can basically use any of the offensive operators on this, even the new ones, which is actually a treat, all things considering. Like I said, I haven't actually, I haven't actually touched this in a while, so... Which is probably why I'm also pretty bad at it. I'm not really used to the terrorist hunt logic, uh, and I'm pretty rough in terms of siege overall. So, I don't really know if my jamming equipment have any. It used to work on the bombers, but the lowered visibility here is part of the charm win. They're moving for the diffuser. Shield operator on the diffuser. Thank you. Alright, so we need to defuse another bomb. We have about 20% HP left. Uh, turns out this can still be pretty down. Pretty challenging if you want it to be. Setting up a charge. Watch out. Charge coming out. Alright, second place. And the, another interesting thing is that before Bartlett University was turned into the multiplayer map and was loathed for it, this was, per, this was the only place you could experience this map. There is a open question if they intended for the map to ever be a multiplayer map. But uh, if, either way, they... Either way, uh, we have a ton of bogeys inbound. At least they are silhouetted. Ah, crap. And we are very much out of the DMP grenades as well. We're popping smoke. Like, this is a decent experience. I'm not gonna say I would play an entire game like this, and that is why I don't play Extraction. Oh, fuck. I don't play Extraction because I don't really relish this being the only experience. Hold on. But it's still... It's still fun. I mean, it's still fun from time to time. And that is the sad part about it being removed. 
because there was some effort put into this single mission. This single mission, they put some effort into it. And it was a good effort. I mean, just look at this. You can look at this, and you can feel like, why no is this not the foundation of the rest of the Rainbow Six story? This victory comes with a cost. Most likely because this is what was salvaged from Patriots. Our nation has been hit where we are most vulnerable. But we must remain vigilant in the face of this emerging threat. As the ultimate goal of our enemy is still unknown. Reactivating Team Rainbow was the right choice. The only choice in these uncertain times. Our work is just beginning. We will track down the people responsible for this attack. We will show them that we are not afraid. And we will stand ready to repel any threat they throw our way. Now that Rainbow is back. Like I said, some honest effort into this. Uh, in fact, let's actually play that again. That's another operator this time. Uh, Thatcher is not really suited we for... The job of uh, well, he's he's more of a get rid of the enemy gadgets kind. And in terms of Article Five, you want the shooters. You want operators who basically just go in there, blow out shit up, and shoot their way out. That's what Article Five is about. So we're gonna pick one of them. I haven't really decided on which one of them I'm going to pick, but I have decided that I'm just going to play this one or twice, uh, depending on how quickly we get the matches as well. Uh, I know there has been people on the subreddit that has stated that they want to play this as much as possible now that they can, and I'm kind of in that vein that I just want to uh, Ash would be a fun choice, but I'm looking actually to play it with somebody I have never actually played it with. Which is probably most of the operators. Uh, Ying would be a fun choice. Sense? No. Brava? I have barely touched Ram as it is. Zero? No. Ace? Nah. Do not want. Uh, let's go with Sevilla. Locate and defuse all bombs. A bomb it deserves to be said that... Right? It, it deserves to be said that when this map came out, Rainbow was a wholly different game. And I mean that. It was just, in every sense of the wor word, a different... A, bomb has been a different title. I don't think... No, we don't have the diffuse at this time. Uh, the game in general was slower, and a map such as this was in general a more hectic experience because of it. Because you had less... You had to move a little bit more with purpose. Clear. You had to move a bit more with purpose. And now you pretty much get away with just shooting your way through it. And can the diffuser please come this way, please? 
The fuse is too bravo, please. That said, I, I'm not really sure that the community is that much different. Yes, the community in, in some ways is far worse than it was back then. Because before Ubisoft saved Rainbow Six, right? Ah, oh, what the fuck is that? 45 seconds. I'm fairly certain that was an intentional kill. Either way, before Ubisoft um, saved Rainbow, and people like Chase Strait and Justin, they and Geneve, they deserve so much of the credit because when Rainbow Six came out, it was not really a forgettable title. But there was a lot of us who felt like this is something unique. This can this can actually work. This have every chance of becoming a really good title. And yeah, it was about some people claim that this this was not really accomplished until after Operation Health. I di I disagree. I think that Operation Health was the pinnacle of Ubisoft's dedication to not make this into a yearly sequel game. Diffuser planted, protected from enemy action. When it comes to what Ubisoft wanted from this game, I'm not really sure that they could resist the temptation of making it into a sequel bait. But Ubisoft seems to go in these circles where they learn lessons they need to learn. And Siege was released in the same cycle as The Division. It was released in the same cycle as Assassin's Creed Syndicate. It was released in right after they realized that they couldn't just recycle it ad nauseum. And uh, Far Cry 4 had... And I gotta say, Far Cry 4 c got a lot of flack. Uh, sorry, got a lot of got, got a lot of flack for being a game that had recycled a lot. And yeah, it was, but it was still a good game. It was still a good game. But the point being, Ubisoft had learned. Ubisoft had learned that. If they stu stuck to what they wanted to do, the game would be better for it. You can see that in some ways with Ghost Recon Wildlands. Even though I would say Wildlands did not go as far, Wildlands was a game where they did not truly dare to make it into the game they wanted it to be. Rather, corporate must have gotten... Uh, must basically have chicken. Must have chickened out regarding Wildlands. But I digress. The game at the time was vastly different, and I think I was different as well. Right now, this is the first time I've touched Siege in a month. I still pay for the battle pass. God knows why. But I pay for the battle pass. And um, I still want to be the guy who plays Siege, essentially. That's going to be my summary. That I want to be the guy who plays Siege. But I don't. I don't really know what it is I don't enjoy with the game anymore. I just don't. And that bothers me. That bothers me more than anything, because I can watch a video of Bikini Bodhi playing it, and I can feel the urge to touch Siege. At the moment I do, the joy is just not there. Part of it is that what made me stop playing Siege in the first place 
was ladder anxiety. Terrible, terrible ladder anxiety. That basically could make me very angry if I lost the game. It wasn't healthy, and I've I've experienced it with StarCraft 2, and uh, it's not it's not it's not something healthy, and it just feeds into this one more game ment kind of mentality. And I stopped playing ranked. I I played events. I played quick match. I played everything like that. But part of what I liked about Siege was like for similar for similar reasons that I liked StarCraft 2. I can still play relaxing StarCraft 2, especially co-op commanders and and uh, the single play campaign. I can play those just fine. But what made me like Siege and StarCraft 2 was basically the same thing, and that was the risk risk and reward of ranked play. Both those things really stood out to me. And... Ah, oh, fuck. And... The, oh, oh, they revived me a little bit too early. <laughs> At least that time I died from a terrorist and not from friendly fire. So, that's why I probably haven't really touched... Location Siege in a while because I don't really feel the kick I used to get out of just playing well. And the irony is that back when I was knee deep into Siege, there was basically just a quick match and unranked. And ranked. There were like two game modes. And quick play was horrible. Ranked could Defeated be horrible, defend, but defended from enemy action. at least when they fixed that you couldn't get... I mean, this sounds ridiculous when I tell you this, but you could be thrown into an active game. Like, you could get in a ranked game, you could join a game that was like 0-3 and would lose rank and there was nothing you could do about it. Bomb will be in 30 that seconds. could happen. And I'm not gonna say I missed that because I don't. It was frustrating all to hell to try and gain rank in an experience like that. But I feel that if the game is to progress, and the game must progress because all the modern games has to progress, the absolutely wrong way for it to do so is to remove content. I am very disappointed in Ubisoft that this is what they wanted to remove. 